Hey pre-seller shoppers, are you thinking of upgrading your home without any construction or renovation? You know, you just want to update your ambiance or maybe make it feel more homey and again without destroying your walls. Well, if that's something that you're into, stick around for the rest of the video because we will show you what you can do as well. Open the door here, and there we go. Hello. 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 So this is Miss Iris. Hi. If you guys haven't seen her before, we have other episodes featuring her and her work. Uh, links in the description, description down below. But do describe this project and maybe a little bit about yourself as well for those who, for those of uh, our audience who haven't seen it yet. Hi, I'm Iris. I'm an interior designer. Our company has been running into the business for quite some time already and it's, it is both an interior design and construction firm. So basically about this project, we, we did several areas and we tried to create like uh, an eclectic concept compared to the, uh, to the rest of the projects that we did in the past. We tried to create a playful one this time. So I would like to show you this area and let me let me think uh, let let me know your thoughts. Oh for sure, for sure. So I'm gonna tour them around first and then we'll meet again later so that we yes. can talk about yeah, it. Sure, yeah, sure. Okay, thank you, Miss Iris. So you have your main stairs over here. Lovely receiving area. And you do have storage here, but it's nice and hidden. And obviously behind these, uh, behind the plant, behind the console. So the console there, which can be visually seen upon entrance of the main door, was designed there to accommodate, of course, to use as focal on that wall and within this multi-purpose area. And to serve as an accent, we made sure that we do extensive thought on how to utilize in terms of aesthetics and the purpose of serving the people who will be coming in. And then, ooh, your living area. Wow, this is beautiful. So it's the first thing that I saw. This is beautiful wallpaper. But okay, so you have your living area, then you have your entertainment desk over here. Right now it has a painting, but you definitely could put a TV in there if you wanted to. That is a gorgeous AC unit over there, matte black. You guys know how much I love that. So here is the latest model of Samsung Aircons, which we call the Samsung Bespoke Air Conditioners. It has a wind-free feature that cools your room without the discomfort of direct airflow. And the good thing about it is it's very cost efficient and you can even control it via app on your phones. This comes in three colors in which we use the midnight black in this area. Choosing a series of core colors to complement eclectic design that unites them with neutrals that works alongside our chosen color especially when applied to different aspects of a room to create a harmonious space instead of a mismatched and erratic one. And then here you have a nice sitting area. Oh, it's so Instagrammable. Hopefully you guys can see the potential because... Within the span of this multi-purpose area is we, we were able to accommodate two consoles which serves two different purposes and catered uh, different art pieces as well. We also had this full three-seater sofa, saddle sofa, uh, together with another separate lounge area wherein you can enjoy your tea or coffee uh, having like in an open area but a separate seating corner. It's beautiful. And then you have so much natural light streaming in because you have the sliding glass doors here at the end which brings in lots of natural light. When you open this up, you have a private backyard over here. Currently empty but again 
potential, right? So here on the second floor, you have your living spaces still. Now this acts as your formal living area or the more uh, private living area since again, it is on the second floor. Could also act as your family area if you like. And this also has access to a powder room with your sink and your toilet. Again, very well lit thanks to the three awning windows available there at the other end of the room. So the second floor living room is composed of another separate seating area, which has a full three-seater sofa, a nesting coffee table, another end table that can that accommodated like a, a few accent and table lamp, where, which in which we used a very nice rug, which is made of very durable polyurethane material that can accommodate heavy traffic flow. And at the end, which is the the wall, the bare wall facing the seating area. Since we did not opt to put like a television on that living room to make it more formal, we created like a, a small art gallery corner there with freestanding paintings, lanterns on the floor, and floor vases as well. And then, in case you're wondering why it's so bright, so this living area has access to a balcony as opposed to a backyard and also has access <laughs> to an airwell which lets in air as well as natural light bouncing off of the structure and onto the living spaces which I absolutely love. That is construction noise as per usual guys. So this area, this little atrium, you can fill up with plants or something to make it look really nice and serene so you can have that outdoor, indoor uh, type of nook. And it goes through to your dining and your kitchen. So you have ample space for your dining area. This one is a six-seater to demonstrate. You could probably have a bigger, more square table if you wanted to add two more seats. So again, it'll depend on the configuration of the furniture that you choose. And also, we have this nice wall over here that you can use for paintings or for some photos that you want to frame up in there. Across that wall, you have storage and you have so much storage as you can see, right? Some of them are shelves, drawers, like this one for example, and they are soft clothes, which I love. We all love that. And then the cabinets all have kitchen systems like this. They already come with gorgeous also speaking of gorgeous look at the handles it's so nice okay so obviously the kitchen and the dining is just one massive area right so over here it may be in the center and it may be dividing the area between the kitchen and the dining but it still feels like one space because this portion is a bar so people could be sitting by the dining sitting by the bar someone could be cooking over here and it's just gonna feel like everyone's hanging out in one space you have your provision for your stove over here. You have your sink. Oh, that is a lovely sink. Uh, it's a uh, dito? Naka curve actually yung mga corners niya. Hindi siya tulad nito in that it's a 90 degree angle. This one's actually curved. That's nice. Easy to maintain. The dining area is right next to the kitchen. And we made a layout to accommodate six person dining table set, which looks very spacious, but at the same time, you get to um, adjust to a capacity to medium to a bigger sized family. And uh, there are special features also that you can see, such as the Italian Italian vase, which is on, on the dining table. Then there's this beautif beautiful painting on the wall. Okay, so I noticed that it's you didn't um hindi mo sinira kumbaga yeah. mga walls yeah. and it was just kept as is which i appreciate because i think a lot of people ask us about design tips kung in ano pwedeng gawin without ruining surfaces because i think a lot of people who rent have that problem right and i think that's what you did here yeah actually we try to work around whatever that is what are here already existing and try to improve as much as we can. For example, for the walls, we try to create focals, play with texture, patterns, and colors, and make sure that the finishes that we choose would blend in into the 
entire existing. yes existing then of course we try to look for good furniture pieces which are all made from italy oh, wow. yeah they're really they're yeah they're very distinct so the materials as you can see are very good quality combination of wood leather fabric metal yeah and also yeah clearly mid-century um inspired yes. but very now yes yes so we it's it's the essence of having an eclectic theme which combines a lot of things a lot of concept textures materials that you can play with and you can see that uh it creates like a different character it does yeah it yeah. does so we actually toured this townhouse before, mm -hmm. so I'm a little familiar with yeah. it. It's already a very beautiful townhouse to begin with, but you yeah. added that much yeah. character to, to it. You had to liven it up yeah. even more. I love these areas that you've curated specifically for these spaces. And also I noticed na iba yung AC dito at sa baba. Like you actually did you intentionally choose that black AC and then the white for this one? Yeah, we we wanted to differ the two areas so to create different impressions. Same concept but different impressions per area. So this one, the white one, to make a more subtle and a homey feel than the one at the multi-purpose area at the ground floor. More on the character. Yeah, like it pops, yes. right? Yeah. Okay, okay. So that's really convenient for you to be able to choose yes. that as well. Mm -hmm. We have to, so we have to combine everything all together. Think of what would be the possible furniture pieces that would come along with this white unit, and the same thing we did with the ground floor areas. So it's it's just great that we had this options to choose from, which we ideally got the midnight back for the ground floor. When we were curating the furnitures that we intend to use for the multi-purpose area, we saw this very nice furnitures that has fabric, metal, like steel back and leather. So we we just thought of using this midnight back bespoke air conditioner unit to align and go along with the concept. Then as far as this one, the white one. Is. As you can see, the walls are white, the ceilings are white. We use gray color schemes, so I think this gave way to all the details. Like this part is more yeah. muted almost, so you needed yeah. your AC to fit that as well. Correct. It makes sense because the AC, after all, is part of what you see in a mm -hmm. room. Yes, more on the visual. So, of course, uh, it's also convenient to use this, this latest model. model. Yeah, this oh, particular this model. model. Yeah, the Samsung bespoke air conditioner because it has a lot of features other traditional units uh, don't have. For one, is twin fee feature. So it's also very convenient to use. That's why we chose this model, as you can use it through the SmartThing app. Oh, yeah, okay. very, very convenient. Digital. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. So that seems like a very smart choice. And a lot. Uh, it's cool, but I don't feel anything. Yeah, it's very subtle. Yeah, it's because of the Winfrey feature of the Samsung bespoke. Oh, yeah. okay. So it's so I'm so we're not meant to actually feel no, it. No, not just, at all. That's so cool. Yeah. Okay. So that very nice choice in appliances, and of course, very nice choice with the furniture as well. So I got really curious about this one and asked Iris about it. So apparently Samsung makes these uh, specific AC units and they co they've come out with three colors, but this is obviously the one that I like the most. And it's also very convenient because you can control it through your smartphone. So basically from anywhere in the world as long as you have Wi-Fi access. And, well, obviously you guys can't feel it, but I can. I do not feel the wind because of its wind-free technology. So it's nice and cool but there's no bothersome wind. So in case you guys are interested, this is pretty, this is a pretty cool option. So, all right, so guys, thank you so much, Miss Iris, by yes, the way, thank you for showing us this particular project mm -hmm. of yours. And just to show you guys that you can actually liven up your spaces and do some uh, upgrading yes, to your improvement. home, improvements to your yeah. home without ruining your yes. walls or surfaces. I love the wallpapers, by the way. That is yes. definitely a great way to make the room feel very different yeah. without uh, damaging anything. Correct. Right? Yeah, that is amazing. It's a, the easiest way to beautify these areas. I agree. And of course, yeah. beautiful furniture. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. Of course. The most important thing. The most important yeah. one. <laughs> so if you guys are interested in seeing more of Miss Iris's work, make sure you go to, uh, make sure you check their profile in our website at www.presello.com. Invest in your future. Invest with us. 
invest with Presello. We'll see you next time. If you want to see more house tours, make sure you click here. And if you want to see more of our build your own or BYOs, click here. And if you want to see more of our other content, click right here. Also, if you haven't subscribed,